Hello YouTube, it's Detroit Borg and today we're going to do a test of the 3G speeds on an iPhone 3GS and an iPad 3G. I've gone ahead and turned off our Wi-Fi so we are now running only on 3G and I'm going to use an app called Speed Test which runs on both iPhone and of course iPad. So let's launch that app. Okay, let's do this simultaneously and see what happens. It's asking me if we're using an Edge or 3G network and we have uh, five bars of 3G, so we're going to go ahead and select 3G. So it's testing network latency right now. And the test is already running on the iPad 3G. And we're just getting started on the iPhone. Okay, the iPhone is finished. Now let's see what our results are. Looks like the iPhone and iPad have very similar download averages. We're averaging about 2,087 kilobits a second for the iPad and 2,098 for the iPhone. That's very close. There's a little difference on the upload speed. The average upload speed on the iPad is 268 and on the iPhone it's 103. Now latency is the big story here. Latency on the iPhone 3G is 1609 and it's only 139 on the iPad. Now what about Wi-Fi? Let's do a Wi-Fi test and see if the Wi-Fi antennas are any different between these two devices. Okay, so we're back on Wi-Fi and I see that both have very strong signal strengths. They're at full three bars, whatever that means. So let's go ahead and run that speed test again. This time we're using Wi-Fi. And this time, because we're sharing a Wi-Fi network, I'm going to do one first and the other second. That way they're not robbing each other of bandwidth. So first I'm going to do the iPad. And I'm going to get the iPhone ready while that's going. This is about average for my ISP. I get about 6 down or 6 megs down and about a meg up. And I have other devices running right now so they're hogging some bandwidth. Now let's go ahead and test the iPhone. Okay, so my Wi-Fi speed is slower on the iPhone. I see uh, 4644 average down and 544 average up. Now that contrasts quite a bit to the iPad, which is at 5357 down and 751 up. And that's more uh, close to the capabilities of my ISP. And this is a, quite a bit short. So indeed, the iPad is also much faster on Wi-Fi than your iPhone. The other thing to note is latency is also much higher on the iPhone once again at 300 milliseconds while the latency on the iPad was 48. Well there we have it. Not only is the iPad faster at 3G than the iPhone, it's also faster at Wi-Fi. In fact, uh, the reception on the 3G is much better than the iPhone. Now, I've carried this around everywhere. I've taken it to the places where my signal on the iPhone tends to drop off and be very poor. The iPad is much better. I can get full bars, full five bars in an area where the iPhone only gets one. So if you want the best Wi-Fi and 3G performance, your iPad 3G is the best way to go. So once again, that's Detroit Borg with a demo of the Wi-Fi and 3G performance between the iPad and iPhone 3GS. Thanks for watching.